Let's find something out together, guys. Can Claude Desktop make me an entire WordPress website with no coding experience? Let's find out. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of acting like I don't have any coding experience whatsoever. And I'm just going to use my AI prompt here. Basically, I have a prompt here to create this entire process, including the research. So this is currently set up for Roo code, but I'm just going to basically paste this entire prompt into Claude and we're going to see what happens. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a local WordPress instance. If you don't know, uh, what, what should we call desktop? If you don't know, this is the easiest way to do WordPress development. Um, you can export the website afterwards if needs be. It's just doing kind of, doing it any other way is super super dif difficult right what we actually need is we need a folder on our computer that has a fresh wordpress installation on it that's all we need here so normally what you would have to do some weird thing like running your own php server or zamp or you know whatever the hell it's called but th this uh, local wordpress basically handles all of that for you so what we can do is we can press site folder like this we can just press VS code, it doesn't really matter which one we press. And we can get the, the, the path is what we need. So we can just press copy path here, for example. And we can see what that looks like. So we can just get rid of that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this in a notepad. And then we're gonna grab the prompt here. And I'll show you if it's possible to do this with no coding experience whatsoever. Okay, so we're just going to make a slight adjustment to the prompt. We're going to say the folder with the fresh WordPress installation is here. And then we just need to add the niche. So it says golf course is an island. I've already done that one. So let's just do... Let's try something new. Let's just say in Ireland here on um, keywordtool.io and just see if there's anything useful here. MD in Ireland, oh, that's not a bad idea. Dentistry in Ireland. Okay, so because we're just doing an example, let's just do natural wonders in Ireland. And we're gonna feed this entire thing to Claude. All I have set up, and this is very, very easy to set up, is I have um, the desktop commander and also, sorry if you can hear screaming guys, uh, and also the server file system. I'm going to turn research on because it's going to make it possible to actually do the research needed. I'm going to say use research to find information about the topic, then uh, create the design and ask for approval, then create the entire website. And we're going to press enter here. This is going to be pretty interesting to see what the hell happens here. I have a feeling that it's going to be able to handle this pretty well. So let's see. For the research phase, do you want me to specifically focus on accessible to visitors? Um, number one, uh, include both. Just do three examples. Just do three for now. When creating JSON schema for data collection, should I prioritize um, just give as much information as possible? Make it make sense, make it modern, make it nice. <laughs> I want to be quite vague because, like I said, I, I don't want to have to code. I'm trying to do this as a non-coder, right? Okay, so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to research three natural wonders in Ireland. This is going to take a little bit of time, so we'll just let this go. So the cool thing is about this, if they can nail this, where you can do this for many, many chats all at the same time, this is going to be the best tool on the market for this kind of stuff, honestly. Super, super cool if they did do that. Or if someone makes an MCP that like, I don't know, makes this happen, what, and you can have another chat? I don't know. I don't know if that'd be possible. But So normally, like, you need to know about Visual Studio Code, you need to know about um, you know, adding things to path, all of that stuff. And it's, it's, it's actually quite complicated. What I'm trying to show you in this video is whether or not you can just use Claude desktop. Uh, I am on the pro mode. It's $90 a month. 
But if it's $90 a month and it unlocks, you know, the ability to code a lot without paying $500 on API costs, you really need to understand that it's actually worth it. You can use more API costs in a month that cost more than $90 easily. And you, you wouldn't even get as much as you would on the pro plan or on the max plan. Now that I'm not like sponsored by Anthropic or anything like that, I really don't care. Um, but I just like to look at what's best and what's easiest. And to be honest with you, if Claude is best and easiest, then I will say so. By the way, if you're interested in joining the school, it will be the first link in the description. I'm just trying to help people out. Uh, I'm constantly replying to things. We're constantly having meetings every week. It'll be the first link in the description of this video. Please check it out if you want to support me or if you just want a little bit more help with these kind of things. Okay, so it gave me this report and I just said now convert it to JSON. That's pretty cool that it does that. And then we can keep up to date with what it's doing by watching the folder that we opened before from local WordPress. However, I'm going to close any code things. I'm not going to click on anything WordPress. All it is is there's a folder here. This is part of the prompt that is created called data for website, right? So now it should fill in, it should create JSON files, right? JSON files are just like CSV files, but they're separate files instead of being a big spreadsheet where things, in my opinion, can get a little bit complicated. Instead, what happens is it uses JSON, which as you can see here, um, is just basically, it's the same thing. It, like it has an object and um, a value, right? Just like a CSV does or a spreadsheet. Okay, so this is actually, this, this is following my prompt perfectly. It's so nice to have access to my favorite model or what was my favorite model before Gemini 2.5. Um, but it seems like this is the OG Sonnet 3.7 that they released in the API. I talked about this in the last video. In my opinion, it makes sense that they did that because people, the API was probably too expensive because developers use the API. However, if they can work out some kind of thing because most people who get max aren't gonna be maxing out their max plan, right? So they're probably making a lot more money from the desktop app, I would say. Again, I don't know their business model, et cetera. But also I think the API now, they've reduced the power of it, right? Which obviously saves them money somehow. Again, I'm not an AI expert or anything, but this, that, that's just the feeling I get is that this is the OG Sonnet 3.7. Okay, so we now have two, almost three JSON files. This is now enough to effectively make the entire website, right? Because what the website, all the website is going to be is a kind of displaying of this data in an interesting way. That's all a directory is, if you think about it. Okay, so now it's creating a definition schema, which is pretty cool. Didn't ask it to do that, but it has done it regardless. This can now be used um, to create the website, I believe. That's why it's uh, made it. The only thing that's missing here is that it didn't actually manage to get images, but that's okay. So this is an index.json again. I didn't ask it to make this, but sure, whatever. Why not? Okay, and now it's going straight into stage two. It's making the HTML and CSS. Once it's done this, I'm gonna tell it to kind of reflect a little bit, maybe make this design better if it's not that good, etc. And then literally it's going to create this entire WordPress website for me with my own theme, my own plugin to import the JSON and everything. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna stop it here because it's going a little bit off task now. I definitely didn't ask for React components. Please stop. <laughs> okay, it's not stopping. Let's go new chat here. And then we'll go back to chats. And we'll go back here. Okay, so we should be able to see the design here. If I right click, uh, reveal in file explorer and then double click the... Okay, so this is what it's come up with. This isn't terrible to be honest with you. This is actually fine. Uh, not a big fan of the formatting of the header and stuff, but that's fine. Um, I don't wanna cause too many issues. You can vibe code as much as you want. You can say, make it better, do this, do that, add this, add that, take away that, whatever. I'm just gonna go straight into creating the website. Now do stage three of the prompt. 
just um, step three. Now do step three of the prompt. I'm just going to press enter here. I'm going to hope that Claude understands what I mean. Let's see. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so first of all, it's reading the files. Okay, and now it is creating me a custom theme and it's going to just create me a WordPress website, basically. I'm going to leave this to kind of work away. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's probably going to take 25 minutes, I would say. So we'll come back around six and we'll see how it's doing. Okay, so this says that it's done. I was pretty accurate with the 25 minutes. Um, it was a little bit more than 25 minutes, but only, only just. So now I need to go to local WordPress and I need to press open. Well, I'll go WordPress admin here. So the site should just be a blank WordPress website at the moment. Let's just open the site. Yep, there we go. So let's log in here. And if I go to appearance themes, I can activate this theme that worked. I will say right now, this is, it, it's not very often or ever that these things work immediately first time. So, I mean, if it can, if it can do it first time, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, the, oh, okay, import wonders, there we go. So let's just find the wonder files. So reveal in file explorer. Let's just drag these over like that and then import. Okay, this is all working so far. That's pretty damn good. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, I wonder, oh, it might be a permalinks thing. Let's just double check. Okay, so we'll try and bug fix this. The importer says imported successfully, but the natural numbers aren't showing in the admin. Okay, so I've asked it to just make a plugin instead because the plugins normally work a little bit better. So we'll see if this actually works. So it says to go to here. Let's just try this button here. That looked like it might have actually worked this time because it took a little bit longer. There we go, right. So we have our WordPress directory. Okay, this is a very, very basic one. I just wanted to show you guys an example of this. You can make this look a lot better than it looks now, but you can just see that it's uh, pretty much done everything I've asked it to do. Now, a couple of things. This didn't get images. It's very, very easy to fix by just adding a different MCP other than the MCP that we, we use the research built into Claude. What you'd have to do instead is just use Brave or something with fetch MCP. Very, very easy to set up. I'll make some videos on it, on how to set it up on Claude Desktop. Let's actually see the home page. Look at that. So it's pretty much perfect. It's got a few mistakes. Um, you'd, you'd have to fix a few things, but you can just see how easy this actually is. And this was zero code, right? You can do this with zero coding experience now, guys. There's no excuse. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.